thing. She'll be watching everyone closely. The galley is a restricted area that lies in the center of the ship. It produces 6,000 appetizers, 13,000 main meals, and 800 kilograms of bread every day. Apart from food, activities are crucial when it comes to pleasing guests. Beppi's dance lessons are always well attended. Beppi was a professional ballet dancer for 10 years. After injuring his leg, he was unable to continue his dream, but seems to have found fame on board the Costa Serena. I never know what to expect from him. Really, sometimes I say, oh my God, what is he going to say now? What is he going to do now? He's the one I argue with the most, uh, because sometimes he gets me like very angry for being so stubborn. He relates in a fantastic way with passengers. They all love him. He has this very positive energy, you know? Uh -huh. Not all performances are running as smoothly on board. Papa, I get much lower than you. Yeah. And I'm right there because you know you've got all this space. Unless I put you here, then you'll see how much harder it is. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and a seven, and eight. One. And I'll ask you with tears in my eyes what's happened to all this space? What's happened to all this? I don't know where to start. I'm. It's crazy. Like you, for sometimes you forget that you're on this massive thing that is sailing through the ocean, and then th when it starts to rock, so you have a moving stage, and then plus you have all the set and the stairs that are moving forward and back. Oh, it's just crazy. You guys are getting a bit lazy there in that department there. I can't. Have Three people carrying the show. Ladies and gentlemen, attention please. There will be a general emergency drill in accordance with that defined by the regulation and the international agreement on the protection of human life at sea. All guests must take part in the drill. The maritime emergency signal is seven short tones followed by one long. Guests have been told that if they hear this signal, they are to collect their life jackets from their cabins and assemble at their allocated muster stations, the designated assembly points on deck four. One lady, she asked me if she, she had to jump in the water. And I say, what? Are we doing the drill in the water? And I say, no, madam, don't worry. We stay on the ship, just put on your life jacket and follow our instruction, but don't jump in the water. The safety drill is run and monitored by senior officers on the bridge of the ship. This is one area that no passengers are ever allowed to enter. Only the captain and other senior officers have the access code. Filming here is only allowed on very rare occasions, particularly when the ship is at sea. The bridge is designed for maximum visibility. Extending beyond both sides of the ship, bridge staff have a clear view of both port and starboard, as well as the path ahead. But right now, all eyes are on the safety drill. It's taken very seriously by all on board. We have to be ready 24 hours if something happens. Every person on board has a role to play. We're the ones who have to give the advice to the guests. We have to keep them calm. If they see the crew running around and they don't know what they're doing, it would be a total miss. We have to know what we have to do. It can save everyone's life. While emergency evacuations are unusual, being prepared is what counts. Just over a year ago in these very waters, a cruise ship sank and an emergency rescue operation was conducted to save the 1,200 passengers. Fortunately, on this cruise, all is well so far and the guests waste no time in getting back to holiday making. But right now, Paolo and Federica have some turbulence of their own. 
580 anymore, it's not 420 anymore. So what should we do? Paula has been told there are 160 extra honeymooners they had not expected. Plus, there are many anniversary couples who want to join in the renewal of the vows at the honeymoon cocktail. That many guests just won't fit into the Lunar Lounge where the cocktail has been planned. The theatre seems to be the only venue large enough. Someone's going to have to tell Gerald that the dancers will have to rehearse late tonight instead. No. When is it, is it going to get better? Is it going to get better? They must tell us if it's going to get better. The honeymooners are oblivious to any tension. Thank you. Heather has had very little time to settle in. At least now, she has a few hours off stage. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Welcome. Very spacious, as you can see. Especially with the suitcases on the floor, there's no room to do anything. Yeah. We've not had a chance to unpack yet. We've been a bit busy, so we're... Uh, a bit? <laughs> yeah, putting off the unpacking for a while. Postcard wall, which we will fill up. We've only been to one place so far. <laughs> some more exciting places when we actually get to get off. In the control room, okay. the engineers have received the results of the fuel contamination tests. Okay. It's an all clear. There's no contamination present. Francesco can give the go ahead to use the new fuel. The ship travels at a cruising speed of 21 knots or 40 kilometers per hour. She has six enormous diesel generators, each producing 12,600 kilowatts of power. She's more powerful than 200 Ferrari sports cars and weighs more than 600 jumbo jets. While preparation is underway for the honeymooners' cocktail party, it's lunchtime in the crew mess on deck zero. But not everyone can enjoy the downtime. The dancers have a compulsory safety exam coming up first thing tomorrow morning. Failure is not an option. The moment you put your feet on the gangway, you're dealing with a rule. It's it's like in a prison, but you get used to it eventually. You, as long as you comply with the rules, you've got no problem. You just can't do exactly what you want when you want. Like, even just things like eating hours, like, is the mess open? You have to wait until 4 o'clock for a cup of tea. If you want one at 3 o'clock, there's nowhere to get a cup of tea. Just, just little things, but, you know, it's not bad. With everyone informed about the honeymoon cocktail venue switch, photographers keep honeymooners happy outside the theatre doors while final preparation inside is underway. Second one with a kiss. Okay, guys, are we, are we ready? The captain will be attending the cocktail tonight. He will be conducting the renewal of the vows. Although a captain cannot legally marry a couple, he will, with the help of the translators, invite each nationality of guests to reconfirm their commitments to one another. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Come on, tell comandante Giuseppe Russo. All the English speaking couple, don't be shy. <laughs> Please hold your hands. As you stand here before me, you cannot help but be reminded of your wedding day. Yes. yes. And congratulations. Thank you. There are several Korean guests celebrating important anniversaries on this cruise, and Paula has made sure the Korean hostess has been specifically briefed.
The honeymooners now make their way to the main dining room to continue the celebrations. Enjoy your meal. While certain events are arranged exclusively for honeymooners, there are over 3,000 other guests to please, and it's not easy. There are two main dining rooms, one on either side of the galley. Bartolo Vitiello, maitre d', has to keep things running smoothly with diners, but also with the galley staff in between. This is my life. Yeah, boys. Bartolo began his career on cruise ships 37 years ago. He hopes to retire in the next couple of years. Escalators connect the galley below with the two dining rooms above. Changing. Everything all right? Not many changes so far. No more. Eh? Everybody so everybody, is everybody is satisfied. Okay, thank you. Well done. Yeah, well done. From four o'clock on, we can go. To the dancers have finally been able to get back onto the stage. So we'll do mambo and uh, we'll carry on. It's going to be a late one tonight. The dancers have their safety exam first thing tomorrow, but the show still needs a lot of work. It's the first show, and we still haven't done it with costumes and makeup and shoes and props. But it'll be fine, hopefully. Just confidence, it'll be fine. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Oh my God. Good morning, everybody. All the production here. Getting up 8 o'clock for safety tour after finishing at 3 in the morning. OK. Good morning, everybody, again. Okay. Morning. Today, we are talking about what we have to do in case of general emergency. You direct the passenger to the lifeboat. You start to count. Okay. And you direct the button, the direct way. How to enter to the... And answer these four questions. As soon as you finish, come here. How many lifeboats do we have on board? Boats, 26. 25 to the 26. 26. 26 is correct. Okay, this is here. Okay. You can go. Grazie. There you go. It's good news for Heather and Renee. They passed. Two more. The smallest people on board have some good news of their own. Captain Russo has come to join them in the kids' club. We have a lot of children on board. 1,000, 1,100, 1,200. So then you have some clients that are not happy at all. They seem to cater to a lot of children here. Right. That's what I see as well. where everybody hangs out. Because the children are doing their own thing. But I just, I just feel that the, the, the Italian culture is one of that 